see, 20 years ago. <laughs> the small wheels, big pants era. Pressure flips were just done and it was early 90s. Video cassette. It's the floodgates these days, you know, with the internet. Like, every, people want new stuff every day. Back then, it was like, you just waited. I remember when Hocus Pocus H3 video came out, you know? It was like, it was jaw-dropping. I wanted to quit skateboarding. It was, it was so beyond. It was like, a video part was everything. That was, you know, that was what you worked for. As Plan B launched, it was all about video. But it wasn't about, you know, candy-coated, you know, a whole bunch of acting. It was about action. It was about serious stuff. You know, it was about Pat Duffy showing us how a rail was supposed to be used. You know, we didn't know what a rail was till Duffy started to use it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pat's parts were just like. I can't believe what I just saw. Here's an unknown having like the most unbelievable party you've ever seen. Having just the balls to ride up and be like, yeah, that's, I'm gonna do that with this body and no cage around it, just like, I'm gonna jump on that. Me and my friends found this balance beam at a school and I went out late night and I stole it. And I lugged it home. And uh, I just skated it every day. So I would skate that flat bar and I was just comfortable on rails and it just kind of went from there. One of the things that was so cool about Duffy's first part was like not just how hard he annihilated everything, but it was also like the shock of like, who is this dude? Where did he come from? The amazing thing, you know, about that team, though, is that it wasn't so, like, Pat Duffy was amazing, or Danny was amazing, or, you know, Hensley was amazing. It's like, or Rodney. Like, it's the sum of everything put together was greater than, you know, the little parts. Mike's vision for a team was like, Let's have a team that has kind of like, this guy does this, this guy does this, and let's kind of cover the spectrum of sort of the different types of skateboarding. What he saw in each in individual is he was one of those guys who's like really good with finding talent and nurturing the talent to be the best it can be. He had his ways of getting things done. That was fat, dude, do it again. He was the master of, the, you know, I don't want to say manipulator, but he was the master at getting you to go full force through your video part. Do something. I want to eat. He wants to film all day. No eat, all day. Film. I want to eat. Yeah, but there's not much time left. I mean, like, the sun's just about going down. You can see how high it is in the sky behind you. This is kind of a drag, dude. You gotta call it. I'm calling it. Bullsh** for you. <laughs> he would call you every other day and be like, Mike did this, Rick did this, Sheffy did this, Danny did this. They kept the fire going, you know? Like, oh, I gotta step it up. It was almost like a friendly competition in a way, you know? The bars you're guessing gonna be pretty high, so that pushes you when you're filming. I remember uh, the double kink that I did in, in Questionable way back when, and you know, I 50-50 did or whatever, and I was, I was pretty proud, and, you, and then, you know, like, Mike was like, hey, I bet you could smith grind that, and I was just like, but he, like, he was always trying to think beyond, you know, like, the next, the next level. That was the juice, dude, right there. You've got exactly one minute to get completely out of my sight or I start taking skateboards and calling the patrol cars. Let's go, you're wasting time. Uh, 
like as a kid, Mike just installed this feeling inside me that was just like, gave me this like, you know, feeling that I was capable of conquering whatever I set my mind to. And also surrounded me with talent that, that helped drive me to that level, you know? Um, he was good about putting guys on teams together to do that, you know? Cole stuck that sh brother. It's crazy that and those dudes would be practicing street, throw the pads on, practice vert, go skate the street contest, practice vert some more, have a vert contest to do, it was insane. That's our skater of the year. You don't see that anymore. You don't see anybody like doing both in a video part. Those guys are the real Terminators. <laughs> See, back to Terminator, he was supposed to kill someone, and he came from the future, but then his program malfunctioned. And, and so now he's invincible, dude, and he can fall on his face and it won't hurt him. Every time they put out a video, it was mind-blowing. They were literally breaking new ground that no one had ever touched before. Questionable video is probably, probably of the 90s. That's probably one of the trend-setting videos back then. It was just kind of the next level of, of skate videos. I think that was just a combination of the right guys and the right time in skateboarding and the right guy producing the videos, you know, Mike. And so all those things contributed to making something that kind of made an impact at that time. It was just kind of like a good moment in skateboarding. Uh, if you want to work your ass off and be a part of a program that's producing progressive skateboarding content and Plan B is one of those programs that will never be anything but. All right, that was definitely the one. Danny and Colin, I guess, had got together and started talking about restarting Plan B, bringing back the dream. We were like, that would be cool, but we would only do it if we could get this list of dudes.